Yo, what's going on guys? Chris Bond here from Overtime Athletes. Hey, so I commonly get a question about strengthening your ankles. I actually just got one recently on a YouTube video. Shout out to you guys, I appreciate the love and your questions coming. I'm gonna try to continuously get to as many of them as I possibly can. Um, this one happens pertain to a lot of you athletes who say you have weak ankles and you want some different exercises between besides the generic ones that you know a lot of guys can prescribe. Um, I understand as far as, a, you know, if you're football, basketball, baseball, uh, soccer, whatever it may be, you might have some instability in that ankle. Any kind of lateral movement obviously is going to help support them, but you can also add exercises on top of that that will begin to specifically support a st stable environment through the ankle. Um, what I suggest, especially because a lot of you athletes, whether you're basketball, or you know, wearing those big shoes that are like casts on your feet, or even if you're a soccer or football player that wear cleats, right, that are laced up and really support the ankle, you wanna increase um, the instability in the ankle, right? So by creating a stable ankle, we need to put you in an unstable environment to strengthen it. So what I suggest is taking off the shoes. Take off the shoes or as minimal as possible when you're performing these exercises. Then you're gonna you're gonna basically perform most of these in a unilateral fashion, meaning one leg, right? We're on one leg. From here, right, you can do simple movements in different planes of motion. Uh, a single leg toe touch, where it's opposite hand to opposite foot. You can perform forward and back, right? We can perform lateral here. Anything where we're taking it off the center of gravity and creating an unstable environment in that ankle. Then, to progress that, I suggest moving over to some form of uh, foam, right? So now this is a platform that we're a little bit more unstable than we are on the flat ground. By doing this, we're creating instability. By creating instability, we create stability or we strengthen eventually so that when we go back to hard ground, we work those muscles, right? So. Here, um, I have an exercise lined up with these cones here, uh, introduced to me by my friend Trey. Uh, but they do this in physical therapy, especially when it's across the knee joint or the ankle joint. And from here, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go around the arch and you're gonna touch the cones. Boom, and all the way through, back and forth. You could do this on both legs and taking your feet or your shoes off your feet. Then in the most unstable environment, or one more that will be, will top that is a BOSU ball. You guys can perform unilateral exercises on the BOSU ball. You can perform the same thing you did here with the cones, or you can actually perform movements where you're actually doing like a reverse lunge here. Boom, and you can see you have to create all that stability through the ankle. Same thing here with the foam. If you guys were to do any kind of lunge patterns, any kind of unilateral movement, you know, where we're going reverse lunge, forward lunge, lateral lunge. Anything on top of these platforms are going to then start to increase the stability in the ankle and strengthen it. I hope that helps. I suggest you guys you know, perform this two, three days a week or incorporate them in your unilateral auxiliary lifts. And uh, hope that helps. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in becoming a better athlete, whether that be sprinting, jumping, strength, or overall looking like an athlete, go ahead and click the box here on my side and make sure that you subscribe to my videos here so I can keep sending them to you. Holler.